Okay, so we have a dryer that is not putting out quite enough heat. So first thing I'm gonna do, I've checked the voltage, you know, I've only got 110 coming out of one leg, the 220. I'm gonna shut, shut the mains off. And we're gonna go in here and check. So, there's your victim, Kenmore. And so, what I found was, when things unplugged and turned off, and that's why I'm showing you the close-ups here. Basically, Across here, these three terminals should have 220, but I only had 110 coming on this one leg here, and nothing coming off that leg. So I took the socket apart, and this place they just remodeled. Uh, some guy took advantage of this lady, and real nice remodel, <laughs> but the guy didn't quite finish it. He'd start half the job and then want more payment and then do another portion and want more payment. And so here we are looking at the socket. And it looks like I never hooked up one of the leads to the 220 there. You can see it uh, just dangling. Actually, it's almost touching the box, but not quite. You can see there's only two leads connected to the socket. What I would, what I would normally suspect was possibly a, new, a loose connection here. But this guy, apparently, after his remodel, or partial remodel, never quite Okay, so just got a new socket. The old one. This one's basically what happened was connection here. It sort of fell apart inside there. It wasn't actually toasted. It was just it was just. It was just falling apart. It wasn't. It wasn't heat uh, stressed. It was. It looked like it was just disconnected. So. I'm gonna shut the door. back on the road again that's your tip for today and then here's your disclaimer um, if you need any help you can contact me at appliance at yahoo.com thanks for watching or give me a call 707-445-1591